Sometimes hearing loss is caused by structural abnormalities of the inner ear, which we can actually see on imaging of the inner ear. It's important to get imaging of the inner ear in most cases of hearing loss because it can really help aid us in making the diagnosis and knowing the cause of the hearing loss. And there are some structural abnormalities of the inner ear which would cause us to counsel you in certain ways on activities that your child should or should not do. There are two main imaging modalities which we use to look at the inner ear in children. The first is a CT scan. The main advantage of a CT scan is that it can very clearly show us the bony anatomy of the inner ear. It's also a really fast test. It takes about a minute and most children can do this without any sort of sedation just by laying still on the table or by helping the baby fall asleep and have them lay on the table for the test. The downside of the CT scan is it doesn't show us some of the soft tissue anatomy as well. So it's not as easy to see the nerve of hearing and some of the other structures that are related to hearing. Also, the CT scan does have a small dose of radiation, and we do have concern about using radiation in small children. The other main type of test that we use for looking at the inner ear in children is an MRI test. An MRI is great because it show us the, shows us the soft tissue anatomy perfectly. We can really see the nerve of hearing and the, the membranous structure of the inner ear. The disadvantage of the MRI is that it takes a long time to do, and the child has to be perfectly still for the test. So for babies who aren't going to be able to lay still for 45 minutes or even younger children, we may use some sedation to do this test. 